class, as you can see, this, this uh, we took this Monday morning, uh, is, is a great size class because there's lots of people. The more people, actually, the better for everybody. Because there's oh. questions asked during these uh, classes that you wish that you'd thought of. And to hear somebody else articulate those questions is good because you get answers that you wouldn't have had otherwise. Hey, you, you're right. This is an, 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 a very energetic uh, class. I, group I can't hear you, so maybe, maybe my computer's dead. Oh, sorry. I'm back now. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. I was just all I was saying is that this is this is a very energetic group. Uh, obviously, because of the, I mean, there's a lot of people in this class, and you're right. There, there are a lot of people asking a lot of questions here. Well, let me let me say this, Eric, before we get going. The reason, folks, that that we're emphasizing that these classes are filling up, they fill up quickly. Now we have another one we're going to be talking about uh, in March. I think you've already shown something about that, Eric. But the point is. You, you cannot drag your feet. If you want to get in these, there's people who wish that they were in this class, right, Eric, and they couldn't make it. Absolutely. Yeah, as a matter of fact, here's a couple more shots. And this is actually when they're doing some hands-on. A lot of people ask, well, what are we going to learn? Are we going to actually – how am I going to learn how to do the actual medical billing part of it? We, we bring in laptops. This is the very first day. In fact, on Monday, we have you doing medical billing. You are a medical biller before the end of the day, Monday. Folks, this is not brain surgery. Uh, we're going to teach you all the basics in this week. And let's face it, you, you, you can't learn everything, not everything, in one week's time, even in five days, eight hours a day. But you can learn the basics of what you need to know to get a business started. And that's the key, is get it started as quickly as possible. We teach people to go out and get their first client in the first 30 to 60 days. Uh, depending on whether you're full-time or if you're still work, working a, another job, part-time, you know, it might take you longer than that. But the point is, we're going to show you how to get that first client, and that's all you really need to focus on because folks, doctors know one another. If you do a good job for one, they will refer you to other doctors, and your business is going to grow organically. Yeah, absolutely. And and I tell you, it's going to grow even faster because of what we're going to share at the end. I mean, and I want you to share, if you maybe pull that up, uh, that email from that one of our licensees that just told you, how, how this is just revolutionizing how she's she's marketing her business. So yes. folks, I'll work on that. Yeah. So what we're going to do is at the end of this slide. I mean, at the end of the slides today. Actually, I think it's already there. But uh, we have our handout for this particular webinar today because we know that you may be working with a partner and you might want to share this or just remind yourself yourself of some of this information. So we're we're. We're freely giving out the, the entire slide deck today to you in your handout. So at any time during the webinar, just go ahead and download it, let it save to your computer, and uh, you'll have it there for you. And then also remember to ask questions. Uh, we've got one coming in already from Ryan. We'll get to that one here in just a second. But please ask us questions during the webinar. We'll, we'll be happy to, to talk with you about this. Patrick, before we start the questions over here, one of the biggest questions we do get is is this a real business? And and we've got this picture of Entrepreneur Magazine. Is the one from this year, uh, Patrick? What makes what we do a real business? Well, here's the thing. I, I tell people there there are a lot of scams out there. You mentioned that earlier <laughs> that people ask that. Uh, you know, they probably don't articulate it that way. But what they're digging at is, are you for real? Uh, because folks, let's face it, on the internet you can say anything, you can do anything. Uh, you can fool some of the people some of the time, but not all the people all the time. We've been doing this for 23 years. And right. you don't anything negative out there on the Internet about us. Why? Because we do what we say we're going to do. And that's how we got an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. You don't get that over 23 years without just doing what you say you're going to do. So is it real? Well, look at this. Our, uh, this is a great quote here you found, Eric. This is in a book that's published by Entrepreneur Magazine. Uh, and it's called Start Your Own Medical Claims Billing Service. So they even recognized uh, and put out a book on the very topic that we're talking about today, Starting Your Own Medical Billing Claims Service. And look at look at the numbers there from uh, healthcare spending. $5.4 trillion business. That's a big business. Yeah, and, and it's you know it's 20% of the gross domestic product. I mean, if you think about how what, what 100% of that looks like, I mean, the, the the healthcare spending is is 20% of that. That's that's a huge huge number. 
Yeah, and so uh, as it goes on to say there, uh, we're quoting from the book here. So let there be no doubt, healthcare is big business and its growth shows no signs of slowing. This makes it the perfect time to start your own medical claims billing service. Now, folks, that's not us. That's not Eric. That's not Patrick. That's not ABS. That is from Entrepreneur Magazine. They've been around for 30 years, and they have published a book on this very topic. Now, you can buy the book and learn the basics of getting something like this started, but as we're going to show you, uh, it's not going to be as complete as ours. And they even recommend in the back of the book, as Eric's showing there, that, yes, there's some books and things you can buy. But they also say, look, there's a business opportunity. Now, Folks, a business opportunity is kind of like a franchise, but it doesn't have restrictions like territories uh, and royalties and things like that. But it is a solid way of building a business because it's a, it's, a, it's a business in a box. It is literally a system that you can follow. So if you can afford to invest in a business opportunity like ours, that's the best way to get any business going. And we're uh, the one that they list there in the book. Yeah, because uh, you actually, you and your wife, actually yeah. are the brainchild behind this whole thing anyway. Yeah, that, that, that's back in 1987. That's my wife, Linda, and my son, Adam, and, and daughter, Sarah. And that was a, a long time ago when I had, you know, darker colored hair and not as many <laughs> pounds on me. But uh, the point is, we did start doing medical billing, and uh, it allowed us to take trips like this to Disney World or wherever that's at. And uh, it was a great time in our lives because, Eric, nobody else was doing this. Back in 1987, you just didn't hear about people doing medical billing for doctors as an outsourced solution. And uh, right. we got it started. Then we had a lot of questions from friends and relatives about, well, how are you buying these new cars and the new house? And, you know, we were, we were making good money, and they wanted to know how. So it, it dawned on me that maybe, maybe there are other people who would like to have what we had. And so we developed a training program to teach people how to do it. Well, speaking of training programs, we know that there's basically two routes people can go, uh, and that's what we want to first of all talk about. This is the decision that one has to make. Do you want to be an entrepreneur or an employee? So we're going to first talk about if you're looking just to be an employee, well, let's. you're going to just have to go to medical billing school, right, Patrick? I mean, if you just want to go work for a doctor, yeah. that's the route that you need to take. If you Google uh, medical billing and coding or training from medical billing. You'll see there's all kinds of courses offered on the internet and probably your local college. Like he says, you can actually go to a, a medical billing school, college, and take a course on it. But folks, the only thing you end up with there is a piece of paper that says you're a medical biller. Well, we give you that at the end of our training. <laughs> there's nothing so, special about that, uh, that diploma that you get. And look what it can cost you. Yep, uh, a diploma that would take you six months to get is going to bring you about fifteen thousand dollars. Now these numbers are you can see down below. We were actually listing that where we got this this information from. Uh, if you go to school for two years, you're going to spend at least twenty four thousand dollars. Now can you imagine two years of your life just so that you can get an associate's degree in billing and coding? And so by getting that degree, Eric, what, how much money can you make? Thirty eight thousand dollars. That's the average salary out there for a medical billing, uh, biller and coder, I guess, uh, with a degree. Folks, yeah. we've got lots of these making twice that with just a handful of doctors. Now, you uh, can see the chart on the side. It says it's, it's, a, good, it's a good job growth. It, yeah. it's, last one down at the bottom, it says average, better, and best. I mean, it's, it is a good one, but, you know, wouldn't you rather be an entrepreneur and that way you can go and do what you want to do and grow the business as large as you want to. Uh, whoops, what happened there? Let me. Oh, I know what happened. We showed that there. And let me pop this back up here. And uh, that I think that what that was doing was getting us over to showing us our website there. But what you can do is learn the advantage of what we actually have here. So, Patrick, let's kind of talk about some of the things that they're actually getting from us uh, being a business owner in medical billing. Yeah, so for our uh, investment in our licensing fee, we call it, it's a lifetime licensing fee. It's about $26,000. You get the advantage of having a business that's already up and uh, designed to just take off and run. It's like a car. All you need is the key. Well, we're going to give you that key. And as you can see, it includes not only our iClean practice management system, that's the billing system you'll be using uh, that's cloud-based, 
You can use it from anywhere, using any computer in the world that's connected to the internet. And you can also provide the doctor with EMRX, which is the electronic medical records, which they need to have. They, they don't, not all doctors have it, but they need to have it, and we, we can provide that for them too. So they can actually see the patient using their iPad and put in some information about them. But here's the key. These things are great, but they don't have built into most billing systems a clearinghouse. And Eric, our clearinghouse is ours. We own it, and so we take uh, ownership of the claims and that means that we're going to scrub the claims and the submissions and make sure that they go through. Because you can bill for a doctor and, and have 30 or 40% of those rejected. Ours yeah. is less, less than 2%. Yeah, and so if you could, just the easiest way to, to think about what it means when we own our own clearinghouse, folks, this is allowing us to take our claims and go directly to the payers. So imagine that when we, when we submit a claim or when you submit a claim from iClaim, it's literally going to go directly to to that uh, that payer and not have to be rerouted through another uh, system here. So this is a key advantage, as Patrick is saying. This is this is the engine that's going to run your entire business. Now, what you're going to learn as an as an entrepreneur through this week, and this, this is some of the things that Patrick, the people were just learning on Monday, some of this medical terminology. I know a lot of people come in and go, ah, I don't know anything about any ter uh, terminology here, so help me here. Yeah, where do I start? Uh, well, you start with the basics, and we cover that in our classroom, like Eric said, on day one. Uh, and we give you an index of all those terms so you can refer back to it. The point is, you don't have to know as much as you think you need to know. Do you know that when people leave this class, Eric, they know more than nine out of 10 office managers? about medical billing. That is, in those five days, you're going to learn more than those, because those office managers only know what they know because they were taught probably from the person that was in the job before them. You know, That's correct. Very few of them have had any formal training of any kind. So you do need to know the medical terminology. And then, of course, as an entrepreneur, you need to know the big picture that we're showing right here. Uh, Eric's done a great job of illustrating what we call the revenue cycle management. That's what you're actually doing is managing the revenue cycle for a doctor's office. It includes uh, the claims preparation, of course, and submission, and the management of those claims after they've been submitted, and then the reporting that you provide to the doctor. All of that's built into our iClaim EMRX system. And so it, it's, it's a system, and folks, if you have a system, you can get something up and running very quickly. Absolutely. Now let's talk about uh, who is leading this particular class. Talk about who Cynthia Anderson is, Patrick. Yeah, Cynthia is one of our trainees that had gone through the class about eight years ago. She started her own business, and she actually still runs that business today. In fact, she has about eight people working for her now, Eric. And so she can come down here for this week of training and teach what she's doing in the field, what really works. So you can ask her questions about her business specifically, and she'll share that throughout the entire week. It's like opening the doors to somebody who is successful and how did they get to be that successful? So she's going to tell you that as well as teach you everything you need to know. I've never seen anybody that loves this business like Cynthia does, Eric. Uh, I don't know how she does it. You know, every time she comes down, she's been doing this for about three years now for us. And she comes down here and tells people details about this business that I, I forgot many, many years ago. Of course. And, and, and of course, things have changed since you and Linda were doing it. So it's it just makes sense that we're we're using utilizing someone who is actually doing the medical billing currently. She's got her yeah. own staff. She's got her everything that she needs, and then she's going to take it, each one of these these sections that we have, uh, starting with the overview of medical billing, the I claim EMRX system overview, and as you I'm not going to read every bullet point here, but folks, we just want to show this to you. This is this is what you would be preparing yourself to walk away with by the end of Friday. I mean, we've had so many people that have come, uh, when we get to them on Friday afternoon, they said, this was like trying to drink from a fire hydrant because there's so much information. But as you'll see here in today's presentation, the training doesn't stop on Friday. It, we, we have continued education throughout your lifetime of being an ABS licensee. Yes. Uh, we had two webinars last week, Eric, just for licensees. So it's an ongoing thing, folks, and that's all included. You're not charged anything extra for ongoing training and support. That's all inclusive, that licensing fee that I mentioned earlier. But anyway, yes, yes these are some of the things that we covered during that, uh, that week in detail. 
Yeah, so let's get to the next section here. So let's talk real quickly about what they're going to learn about iClaim. What, you know, again, we've kind of talked a little bit about what iClaim is, but, uh, you know, this is, this is one of the handouts that you're going to have as a, as a marking tool, and then iClaim is going to be presented, and you're going to get right directly into, like you said earlier, Patrick, hands-on, let's get this thing going, and, and uh, let's do a little bit of billing here. Yeah, I mean, uh, that flyer even said there on that, uh, Eric, uh, you know, focus on the patients, not on the paperwork. And uh, we showed a video at the beginning of the workshop this week of five different doctors who are clients of some of our licensees, and they, they testify to the fact that it takes a lot to do the billing themselves using their own staff and their own computers, which many doctors do, of course. Uh, but uh, they, they, one doctor said, I, for every hour I spend with a patient, I spend 30 minutes on the paperwork. So folks, we've taken that off of the doctor by utilizing a system that's, it's something that they can have access to because it's on the web, it's cloud-based, so we can give, you can give as the supervisor uh, or administrator of the system, you can give that doctor and the staff login rights to get into the system. This is one of the screenshots of when you first get into the system. And as you can see, it's very user-friendly, very easy to use. Uh, it's all HIPAA compliant, of course, for the privacy uh, of the patient data and so forth. Backed up nightly on redundant computers in two different uh, grids, electrical grids in the United States, so very safe. And uh, Erica, you're pointing out there exactly what they're going to be doing. Yeah, if you can see to the left, I mean, it's kind of hard to see this little, because we had to blow up as big as we could. But what you're looking at here to the left-hand side is what's called a super bill. There are still doctors that are using a super bill. They're, they haven't. They may have an electronic medical records platform, but you'll be surprised how many doctors still like to use a super bill to chart their services to get it to the biller. Every, and, every doctor that me uh, or Linda walk out of their office, they hand us a copy. So I know they're using paper super bills. They'll yeah. circle. The little codes that you see on there, everybody knows there's some codes involved with medical billing, and that's what those numbers are on that. So they'll circle those, and uh, that's what they've done. Are, are they what they found out wrong with you, and what they did to help you? Supposedly. So what we're going to do day one is to hand some of these out. We're going to have some things already circled on there. We're going to log you into iClaim. That's where you saw all of those laptops through there, everybody. And uh, you're going to click on where it says Create Claim. And you're going to be just like these people right here, where we're going around making sure that you know you've got what you need and where it goes and all of this. And so what you're going to do is basically take these two forms. One's called a new patient intake form, and then the other one's the super bill. And you're going to have that what's called the patient registration. You're going to fill out you know fill out a paper a patient in the system, and then you're going to have another one of those super bills with all of this information on it, like. What is it, Pat, Patrick? That exercise lasts at least an hour. By the time you get through with that, you pretty much know where everything goes. First name, last name, the, all these numbers and everything, you've got it down. Then we give you a stack of claims to process on your own uh, with us there, of course, to help you out. And people just whiz right through that because it's not <laughs> brain surgery and the software is not hard to use at all. So folks, look at these two forms. Now, they may look a little intimidating now because you can't really read them and you don't know what they say. But once you've learned what these two forms are all about, you are a medical biller at that point. My wife, uh, Linda, started doing the medical billing for a doctor in 1987, and that's all she got was those two pieces of paper. They still yeah. use those two pieces of paper, although some of it's done electronically now. Yep, a lot of it's done electronically. I'd say about half. Lot, so many people always ask, well, how many? What's the average? It, I would say half. You know, it's still half uh, because, again, even though that the doctors may have an uh, electronic medical record system or electronic health records, they're still using paper. They just can't get away from it. They just like paper for whatever reason. So, uh, But one of the things that we want to show you here is that you're going to also have hands-on, but you're going to have a lot of activities of an explanation of, you know, your services. So we're going to give you opportunities to share this, work with your partners, uh, on on different avenues of just really getting into the business, so so that the next week these people that are going to go out next Monday, Patrick, they're going to know what to talk about with doctors or nurses or you know people that they find in their business network. 
Yeah, folks, th this is called a workshop for a reason. You know, you heard uh, probably that the way to really learn how to do something is to do it. So we're going to put your hands on the materials that you'll be using to market with and to actually create the proposals for the doctors for the services that you're going to provide them. So you'll walk away having examined and touched and, and, and participated in creating those things yourself. Now, speaking of the electronic medical records, for a lot of you, you may not know what that is, but it's just basically the software to allow the doctor to chart your visit. So if you go to the doctor, they're going to use some type of computer system. They can use an iPad, uh, just like I'm showing you right here. They can chart, you know, check you in and get you moving on. And and uh, and so what? let me explain to you what you're going to learn on basically day two. Now, this is what the folks learned yesterday. You're actually going to sit through a live demonstration of us showing you how the EMRX system works. Now, Patrick, you want to explain to these people why we do a live demonstration of why we show you as, a, as the, uh, the participant there at the training workshop, why it's important for us to do these demos and not the licensees? Right, that's a good point, Eric. We're doing them. Uh, we're part of your team, in other words, so our IT people get online and do these demonstrations for your prospective clients. So we're pulling up the screens like you see this one here and literally live over the Internet, just as you would see it if you were actually doing the billing, we all actually go through the process of showing the doctor the technology and the great reporting that's behind all of this so that they feel comfortable with the fact that if you take over their billing, you know what you're doing. So we position you as being much larger than somebody just working out of their spare bedroom, right? Uh, right. You've got a team of people that are doing these demos for you and answering all the questions that the prospects might have. So you learn by listening to our people actually doing these live demos. Folks, if, if this business were sold for a $25,000 fee uh, and, and, and that's all you got right here, that would be worth it. Believe me, as a business owner, I can tell you to have a, a company doing the demos for you. And Eric, what are we we're closing uh, a good portion of these that we do? Yes, uh, I would say whenever we get to this stage, when you, as a licensee, when you're working with your doctor and you get the doctor to the stage of the demo, we're closing about 75% of these for you. And it's just simply because you may have just gotten out of training class like these people will do this week. They may end up with a doctor next week They've done all of their homework. We're going to show you exactly what they're going to learn, how to get a doctor to this position. And then when we enter into this position, folks, it looks like you've been in medical billing for 23 years. I mean, literally, that's what it looks like to the doctor. So that's us at the top. We're on our computers. Uh, of course, we don't have to be anywhere close to you. We, we do this all from Texas, and some of it's done in different states by other uh, people who work for us. And and there's you, there's you and your spouse or partner at the top there. The doctor is on their computer. We're doing the demonstration. You're just sitting in like a little bird, you know, just listening, a little fly on the wall. And you're listening in and hearing, and that's how you learn. Now, Cynthia will tell you when she uh, does the training, she does still does not do these demos herself. She no. will still let us do these because she wants it to be positioned that she has people. You know, I have people. She tells them. Right. And they're going to do the demo for you. So, folks, just so far, all we've touched on is the two main parts of the engine that we talked about earlier, iClaim and EMRX. Now, what we're going to do is show you all the other ancillary uh, services. We're going to kind of flip through these pretty quickly just because, again, we spend hours during this training class really going over what auto, auto card is and quick collect and choice pay and auto auto. Audit guard. So what we're going to do right now, we're just going to highlight some of these and explain that we're going to go through each one of these. And Patrick, so many people ask, well, can you explain to me a little bit more about this section here? A lot of these are just going to help you understand that, uh, like what we're showing you right now, what is code right? Now, I'll, I'll take this further from here, Patrick, because it's just so easy for people to understand because uh, a lot of people are asking me, do I have to know codes? Well, first of all, folks, you don't have to know codes. That's the doctor's responsibility. However, 
if the doctor needs you and your billing services, remember you're a medical revenue management company, and if the doctor says, do you have coders on staff, you can absolutely say, yes, I have coders on staff. Folks, what do we have, Patrick, 100, 150 coders that can be Over utilized by our licensees? Right. Over 100. And let me just back up just for a second, Eric. We're, we're going into each one of these in, in detail. But the reason these came about, folks, was because doctors would ask our licensees questions like this one, do you have coders on staff? And, and they couldn't answer that yes. Now they can, you see, because we've provided that for our licensees. Now, you do make money off of all these services that we're going to talk about, and we're not going to go into detail about the money that can be made, but you can ask your ABS coach more about that. The point is, you have these things to be able to say to the doctor, yes. If they say, well, do you have a, uh, an offline uh, document management system? Yes. Uh, do you have a way to uh, keep me from getting audited from Medicare and getting in trouble? Yes. You want to be say, saying yes to those things, and that's, that's how we develop each one of these ancillary services. Patrick just mentioned about being audited from Medicare, and a lot of doctors are under a Medicare audit, uh, and we have a solution for that. Any doctor that's ever been audited by Medicare, or what you're going to find out is that the other insurance companies, Aetna and United Healthcare and Blue Cross, Blue Shield, they'll actually take a doctor through an audit. What this does, this is actually looking at all of the things that the doctor's doing and all of those numbers that you saw on that, that super bill earlier, making sure that the doctor is not uh, overcoding or undercoding, which, you know, that's just the terminology, just so just understand it for now. But the audit guard will help that, make sure that the doctors focus in on the correct uh, codes that he or she needs to turn in to the biller. This is, a, this is an incredible um, service that can be used by the doctor. Just, just the simplicity of audit guards. Patrick, it's, it's, I remember a couple of years ago, there were a lot of audits going on. Oh, yeah. And, you know, they can pop in on a doctor any time and say, okay, give us 50 of your patient uh, records. We're going we're gonna to audit you. And what happens, folks, is if the doctor has billed for a code that is more than, than Medicare thinks it should be, they can find the doctor up to $10,000 for each one of those codes that they find that are wrong. This right. service protects against that, and then we provide the doctor with some great reports, and we go over those reports with the doctor to tell him in detail exactly what codes he should be using instead of the ones that he are using. I think you have a picture of that somewhere, right? Oh, yeah. It's, it's right here. It, here are all the different charts and reports. And the great thing about it is is that this happens, and, and, you, and you, you take a doctor through an audit, uh, through Audit Guard, our coders will be the ones addressing all of this for you, for your doctor. So just like the demo that we explained earlier, that we do that for you, when you take a doctor through our audit guard to make sure that they are right where they need to be, uh, we can show them where they're failing or where they're, they're doing really well, the, the coder will actually sit down over a phone call, over like a go-to meeting like we're doing, and explain to the doctor, yes, you're doing really well here, but you really need to tighten it up over here. That's the power of this audit guard. Powerful system. Yeah, so that's why, you know, we tell people you don't need to have knowledge of the coding. Uh, we've got people. <laughs> we have people that know <laughs> right. all the answers to all the questions about those codes that could possibly be asked. So if the doctor asks you something about a code, you can simply say, let me get back with my coder back yeah. at my office. And that's us, folks. That's the advantage of being a part of the nation's largest network of medical revenue managers. We, we are it. Let's step through a couple of these because we we've got a lot of things to get through. So we've got Quick Collect, uh, which is just another way to help the doctor uh, recover some lost revenue. I mean, everybody knows that the doctors uh, have, they just need a system in which they can collect from the patient. Now this is just strictly from the patient and not have to send a patient to a collection agency. No patient, nobody likes to be sent to a collection agency. This right. bypasses that com completely. Uh, matter of fact, we've actually got this audited a little, I mean, a little bit more automation, both with Quick Collect and Choice Pay. It's actually, it, it, we've actually got it now built inside the system that that even helps the doctors get paid even better. But I want to leave this last one for Patrick because Patrick loves to talk about this one called iDocs Now. Patrick, I mean, take it away here. This is this is pretty incredible because it can be used even outside of medical billing. 
Well, look, Eric invited you to come down and visit our offices. When you come, ask to see our file cabinets where all of our paperwork is. And we have a lot of paperwork in our business. We don't have any file cabinets in our office, do we, Eric? You can't find them because they're not there. Everything is scanned in to our online cloud-based service called iDocs Now. You can provide that same service to a doctor, by the way, to any other business that deals with a lot of paperwork. Uh, and they can, with a small little scanner that you can provide to them for a little bit of nothing, they can scan every document in to this system. And folks, you can search by word for any document at any time. You can't lose anything in this. It's backed up on a regular basis uh, on redundant servers. You're even sent a, a, overnight a DVD uh, each month or each quarter, whatever you, whatever you want, that has all your documents on it. So the wonderful thing is that not just one person can access a, a document, but 10 people at one time could be looking at the same document. You can't do that with paper. So we can take all, see all those papers there in that illustration that are in the doctor's office? You've seen all those files. We can take all that out of there and clear up a whole room sometimes to give them more space to see more patients. And the great good thing about this is, again, this could be used outside of medical billing. I mean, attorneys, uh, they've got a lot of paperwork. They can store them. You can see it's HIPAA compliant. So if it's, if it's locked down for a HIPAA compliant, it can be used, for, again, for attorneys, schools, churches, any, any, anybody that is out there that uses a lot of paper, they need to store paper, and you just start running out of room of filing cabinets, you just, you just do. This is a great solution. And you can make this as well. You know, I see here in Texas sign up a big ranch. I mean, there's some big ranches here in Texas. And ranches, they deal with all kinds of stuff. This had been around for 30 years. They had a ton of paperwork. They wanted to put it online. They signed them up for iDocs now. And, and the licensee made over $10,000 a month just putting the documents up into the cloud. Amazing. And course, ongoing uh, fee that they make each month off of that as well. Yep, there you go. All right, so let's talk about really quickly. I know because, Patrick, you actually did this part today. You started talking about the marketing materials and how to market your business. And a lot of people always want to know, how am I going to get my doctor? I, I, I love the business. I love the business model. But how am I going to get these doctors? Yeah, this is the scariest thing for anybody, not just in this business, but any business that you start. You always wonder, well, what, you know, what am I going to have to do to actually get people to engage with me as a client and pay me money. And so, folks, this is the thing that ABS has specialized in over the years, is figuring out how to get past the gatekeeper in many cases, how to work with the gatekeepers in some cases, and how to get things directly to the doctor, him or herself, because they're the ones that will make the decision to outsource their billing to. We right. figured out how to do that. We have books and uh, flip charts, and uh, we have displays for uh, trade shows. We have uh, all kinds of direct mail pieces, uh, email programs. Well, you're going to go into some of that, of course, Eric. But the point is, folks, we've put the money and the time in developing things that it would cost you way more than $25,000 to develop just a couple of our, our items. So we've already done all that work for you. Again, you're getting the whole system handed to you. It's a, it's a turnkey system. And one of the turnkey parts of the business is you're going to get a website. Now, we have just showing you three examples. You can you can make these any color. Uh, you can have whatever, what's called these hero graphics there on the front part of it. But the great thing about it is, I mean, when you start to think about it, well, I need a website. What am I going to put in the website? Well, we have all of that in there for you. What we need for you is for us to change the name where it says AB Systems, ABC Systems up at the top with your name and with your logo, with your contact information up there. We can add, even add a couple of extra graphics in there for you. Or if you want to, you can actually take these websites that we have built and give it over to a webmaster that you may be working with or you may know how to do it. At least you have all the content and do that and build it yourself so you can really do whatever you want to with it. Talking about online marketing or your web, I mean, Patrick, we're starting to see a lot of our licensees use Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Snapchat, whatever. They're using all of this because that's where people are all the time. They're on their phones and instantaneous information here. Yeah, and of course, we didn't have this when we started 23 years ago because there was no such thing as these things. Uh, so folks, what we're trying to say is we keep up with what's changing out there in the marketplace. It does change. Uh, and so we adapt the things that our licensees need 
and teach them what they need to know about marketing using these various uh, aspects of the internet. These are things that you would not get from even some franchises. They just kind of tell you their equipment and their products and just say, go get them. So folks, we have an online uh, site where you can actually go as a licensee, log in to our private site, and we have all sorts of these things available to you right there through that licensee uh, support site, we call it. This is one of the <laughs> native parts. Yeah, this email marketing. We're actually going to show you a sample of one of our licensees and what they're doing with their email marketing. Patrick, your, 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 uh, uh, your microphone went from a really nice, deep... Uh, sound to a kind of a tinny. I don't know if there was something you bumped on your side there. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I didn't do anything, but I will try to, maybe I can hook up this little mic I have here. And while he's doing that, let me show you, I mean, Patrick and I get this from a licensee, uh, I think every two weeks or so. Uh, we're obviously being a part of ABS and this licensee wanting us to kind of see what she's doing. Uh, this is actually one long, long one uh, email. But we want to kind of show you what she's done. Uh, you can see implement a new EMR system or simply upgrade yours. That was the email there. Uh, you can see this critical feature number one, the ease of, of, of use features, uh, patient workflow simplicities. And then down below there, she's even created some new icons for Audit Guard and EMRX and Choice Pay. Folks, what we're telling you here, this is your business. You can do whatever you want to do with your business. I, this is this is going out constantly out to doctors, constantly going out to doctors. Yeah, I, Eric, I don't know if I can switch to that mic. How, how's it sound now? Is it okay? Uh, you got it. They're perfect. Okay. Thank you. Good. Good. Uh, yeah, and, and so the thing is, folks, that, that there's all sorts of ways you can uh, market any product or service nowadays. This is just one of them. We're going to teach you how to do it the right way for this particular. So every one of our methods of marketing is aimed at this particular type of business, not in general, but specifically for ours, and we'll provide you the tools that you need for that. Then direct marketing. Uh, Patrick, I know that you over the years, I mean, you've been a marketer your entire life, and this hasn't really changed. Direct mail marketing hasn't changed. However, we've actually kind of, been able to zero in on a little bit better. You want to explain this part of it? Yeah, you know, in normal direct mail marketing, uh, for every uh, 100 letters you send out or postcards or something, you might get a 1% or 2% response, right? Only 1 or 2 out of 100 people will respond to that. We've got people who are getting 12% response, Eric, on ours because we figured out how to target it to the right doctors and say the right things and, and send it to them in a way that they want to open it and read it and engage with you. And so this is one of the ways we do that. We have a, a, a series of uh, greeting cards and postcards that are online. Uh, you don't have to do anything yourself. We can all manage it online in our online system called AutoCard that will actually send these cards out on a regular basis to keep your name and your services in front of your prospective doctors. So it's a, it's a wonderful uh, follow-up system. Just a drip marketing, just drip marketing uh, campaign. That's what yeah, it's called. Yeah, and then if you're a little bit afraid to go out and do your own, we're going to teach you how to find sales reps, interview them, how to hire them, how to train them, how to pay them. Patrick, I mean, we, we've kind of looked at just every different way that someone can actually end up getting a doctor. Yeah, because I would say a good portion of our licensees come through and they're going to try building this business part time. That is, they're keeping their regular job to get some cash flow coming in, and they want to build this on the side, so to speak. Well, sometimes the best thing to do is just hire somebody who loves to sell. And believe me, we'll show you how to find lots of people in your area who would love to work for you. They work on a pure commission basis. That means you don't have to pay anything up front until they've signed up a client. Uh, so it, it, it's, it's just a marvelous way to get a business. Uh, Cynthia will share with you, you know, how she's used sell reps sales reps to build her business to where she's got uh, you know, nine people, she's opened an office, and she's made this a big business. And another cool thing about it is, if you, I mean, you just like people, and you like getting up and just talking, and again, we're going to show you a couple of different things. First of all, we're going to show you that we've got slideshows that you can do at Lunch and Learns. This is, this is a group of nurses here, a licensee being able to show this. We've got all of this information here that you can do. 
However, it's this next slide I'm going to show you that I think is the most impressive. Patrick, you want to talk about about this one here? Well, you can do the lunch and learns yourself, of course. We'll give you the slideshows, like Eric said, and the script to do that. But we've partnered with a, a, a retired general surgeon, Dr. Vicki Ratner. He's authored several books. He's a major keynote speaker at many of the big uh, conventions held around the country for doctors. And she's been interviewed on CNN and uh, ABC and NBC. I mean, lots of articles in magazines, very well known. Well, we've partnered with Dr. Vicki Ragnar, and she has uh, got a system set up to where she can actually appear at your, your seminars and lunch and learns virtually, just virtually. using the technology that we're using here today. So as you can see, she's there live. We did this today at the training workshop where she appeared live there. And you can appear right there for your crowd. Talk about a draw. Doctors right. hear from other doctors. And now you've got a doctor on your team who can actually draw those people to those uh, those seminars and lunch and learn. And especially whenever you couple this with our kind of like our little surprise marketing thing that we just got come that we just got launched this year, that along with this, I, it, it, it it can be very very powerful. Yeah. So very very succinct there and uh, very quiet about some of the things we've got in development because. Folks, we don't just uh, sit around, and we, we're constantly developing new tools for our licensees to use. And one of them here recently will actually put you uh, as a co-author with Dr. Vicki Ragnar. So, uh, yeah, lots of good stuff in the pipeline. And, folks, if you want to do, again, a lot of people like to do these. Uh, we have these trade show booths that are out there. Uh, just for you to, basically, we don't even rent them out. You just pay for the shipping. Uh, these are out just about every other week for different places all over the country. A lot of the licensees use the, either the tabletop or they'll use the big full booth. Whichever one you want to use, this is this is the way to go. Yeah. Folks, there are trade shows being held in your city probably this week. And they don't have to be a medical trade show. Doctors are just human beings, right? They go to car shows and home and garden shows and all sorts of trade shows. And uh, you can borrow this booth here, the display, that sets it up, it's very generic, it doesn't have the name of any company on there, of course, because you're going to start your own company and have your own name. But it ties in wonderfully with all of our other marketing materials and make it look like you're much larger than just somebody who, you know, crank up uh, something on their, you know, inkjet printer. So uh, anyway, yes, you right. probably, and these have, what a better way than to stand and let the doctors come to you and say, oh, hey, you did medical billing, tell me about that. So it's yeah. a great way to meet with the uh, hot prospects out there. All right, let's move on. What about business networking, Patrick? I mean, this is this is probably the key element that actually can get you right in front of the uh, in front of the doctor right here. Yeah, but let me uh, take any fear of that away from people because, folks, we have what we call our warm market program. We're going to show you how to connect with people in your own life that know you, friends, relatives, the postman, the milkman. I don't guess they deliver milk anymore, do they? Anyway. <laughs> There's lots of people in your life. We've got uh, over 85 different suggestions of people that you can connect with, uh, your hairdresser, your barber, and so forth. And what we do is show you with a specific script and a, a particular presentation how to show them what you're doing for doctors. Right. Now, they're not doctors, so they don't need your services, but people know people, right? So we're going to connect you through your warm market and get you introduced to the people who know doctors. And that's a wonderful way to get clients. I, I would say a good portion of our licensees get their first client through just their own warm market. We're going to show you exactly how to do that. Absolutely. Once you've got you're in front of the doctor, now the other thing that you're going to learn during the week of training is how to do what's called a practice analysis. Now, Patrick, we're going to kind of step this up a little bit. I'm looking at the clock. We've got nine minutes left up to the top of the hour. We've got so much that we want to try to cover. But this is this is the part that zeroes in on why a doctor would want to use you. If you see these two these two pieces of paper side by side, a lot of people ask, well, why would a doctor want to use me? Well, when you go through this systematically, the, this practice analysis questionnaire, then you peel that that information off of there and you stick it in this report. Now, this is this is the questionnaire that's tied directly to this report. And when you can present to the doctor, doctor, I can see what's going on with your practice. However, if you come with me, I can project these numbers. 
I mean, Patrick, look at these numbers down here at the bottom, right-hand corner. I mean, imagine increasing a doctor's revenue about another $26,000 a month. That's why a doctor will use you. Yeah, they can actually save money, folks, by doing uh, the billing through you. But look, you can, bottom line, bring them a whole lot more revenue. It's like selling popsicles in the Sahara Desert. Uh, right. It's not that hard to sell money to anybody. And when the doctors see more bottom line money, they want to be a part of whatever it is that you're doing. And, and the thing about it is, a lot of people ask, well, are they going to have to change their software, move their software to, to the iClaim? The answer is yes, because that's what's causing these numbers to change this way. So that's it's pretty pretty impressive. So you know, we'll, we'll ask, what kind of current system are they on? Are they web-based? Are they server-based? How many claims do you do a month? What is your current spending on your billing? So we're going to ask all those questions. That's how we're going to get to that report. Obviously, at this point, we're going to show you how to do the proposals. Uh, we've got a full packet here to, to, to present to you at, that you'll have to present to the doctor right after the demonstration. So imagine that you, we just got through doing, doing the demo for you of the iClaim platform, the EMRX platform. You get to put in this nice folder with all this information. But I finally wanted to get to the support, Patrick. Because this is this is great because a lot of people want to know well how long is support is it six months is it a year this is a lifetime of support that we're giving everybody yeah this is an actual picture folks of uh, one of our support centers across the country and uh, we we have over a hundred people that will basically support you in any aspect of your business from the marketing aspect to the actual proposals the pricing the demos all of that's done by our support people so folks that's very important that you know that part of the license fee that you're paying is paying for these people who are supporting you. And we make money, of course, on all the services that you offer to the doctors, so we have an ongoing revenue. Thus, we have cash to be able to help support you forever. It's a lifetime support. We, we never stop supporting you. As long as you're sending claims through our system, you are an ABS licensee, and we're going to support you. And that includes the support site that Eric is showing right here. Yeah, you want to talk this thing through, Patrick? I'm just going to kind of sh just go, go through a couple of these slides here as you're kind of talking through this. So this is the site I mentioned earlier that you'll have a login to, a password and an ID, and it's just for our licensees. Folks, we have more on this site from a training standpoint and a support standpoint than most million-dollar franchises. I can tell you we've had people come through our training that have bought franchises that cost much more than our licensing fee that said, I didn't have near what you guys have out there. Look at the drop downs here as Eric goes across the menu there at the top. We've got sections for every one of the services that you're going to be offering to the doctors. We've got a whole section on marketing, all the different ways that we teach you in the training workshop. So every session that you'll see in the workshop is also recorded here uh, in webinars that we've done over the years so that you can go back and review this and train other people that you hire. Uh, we've got a whole uh, tools section there with miscellaneous stuff under it. We've got all kinds of, I uh, can't read that one, oh, uh, business, uh, other services. It's, it's just an, an, an incredible wealth. Of, I'd say, Eric, there's probably, let's see, we've got 40 hours of training in one week's here. We've probably got three times that in training out there. And we're about to show it to you because what we did, we kind of just selected a couple of these right now. Patrick mentioned that we do licensee webinars. Now, folks, you are on our Wednesday webinars to kind of give you the information that you need to help you make your wise decision. However, once you've done that, you've gone through training, training doesn't stop. Uh, here's a couple of uh, licensee webinars, but here are the rest of them. Yeah, these are some that we've just done this past year. And as you can see, folks, every one of these is what, 45 minutes at the minimum? Uh, right. Some of them are over an hour even. So folks, you can just, it's kind of hard to see, but what we're illustrating there is there's a lot to learn about this business, and we've got you covered. We've done the, the research, and we update these on a regular basis to make sure they're fresh and have the latest information in there about this business because just like all businesses, this one changes. There's new rules and regulations that come down from the government, and the insurance companies, and we're going to keep up with all that. Ah. Patrick, let's, let's, let's finish with the icing on the top of the cake here. This is, this is the new, latest, greatest marketing technique yeah. we've got. Got a copy of it right here. As you can see, it's just a paperback book, about 150 pages is all this is. But it was authored by me and Dr. Vicki Ratner, which I mentioned earlier. So, folks, what we've decided is that 
to build your credibility as a licensee, we figured out a way to have you as a co-author of the book. Yeah, as you can see down there at the bottom, he's pointing to your name here. We're actually going to put your name on the cover of the book as having written the foreword. Now, don't worry, we've already written the foreword. We're just putting your name and information at the end of the foreword. So uh, it's on the title page, as you can see here from this shot. Uh, when you open the book, your name is there. And then at the end of that two-page foreword, your contact information is at the end as well. So talk about a great giveaway. Eric, we can sell these with the person's personalized name on this uh, to the licensees when they run out of the initial uh, supply they get with their package uh, for about $4 a copy. Well, folks, let's kind of wrap this up. We haven't even gotten to all the questions, so forgive us. We were trying to get as much in as you can see here. We had so much to pack into this one hour. Uh, we'll, we'll hold over. We'll, we'll answer some of your questions. So those that you ask questions, hang on. We'll get to those. But a lot of people want to know where the training is. It's held in Dallas. It's here in Texas. We, we host it at a Marriott Suites here. Uh, what you would need to do, you just fly into the Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. We come pick you up, or the hotel will actually come pick you up from the airport, so you don't need a vehicle. Uh, the classes run from Monday to Thursday, 8 to 5. Then on Friday, it's going to go from 8 to 1. Now, that gives those that are flying from long distances enough time to get to the airport. You can catch maybe like a 3 o'clock air flight to get, get home, and you'd be okay. We provide lunch every day, so lunches are provided, and, uh, but the licensing fee doesn't include the travel of the hotel. So we wanted to make sure that we covered that in there. That's your expense uh, because when we get to the guarantee part of it, which is right now, what we're talking to you about is that we're going to guarantee back 100% of your investment of what you put into the ABS part of it here. Actually, you want to talk about this, and I'll get ready to start flipping up some of these questions, and we'll see what we can do to wrap this thing up here. Yeah, so here it is in writing. This is a part of your agreement that you sign with us when you sign up as an ABS licensee. And it says at the end of the training workshop, if for any reason you do not think this business is right for you, simply tell any staff member and they'll arrange for you to receive a full refund of your license fee. So folks, we can't refund your uh, airline. Maybe you've got some miles you can use to get here or you could you know, ride your bike or whatever you need to get here. And we can't refund the hotel, of course, because you're paying the hotel for that. But that's a pretty small fee. Uh, you'll spend about maybe $700 for the week at the hotel. Very small investment to find out if what we're saying is, is real or not. Uh, if at the end of the week you don't like it, you get all your money back. And yes, we have done that. Over the years, there's been a handful of people that we've actually given a refund to. They have some very specific reasons, usually personal reasons, as to why they uh, asked for the refund. But the point is, we don't have to worry about that. Now, it doesn't happen very often. And so that tells you that what we've told you is, is really real. And watch some of the testimonials on our website from people who just graduated, and you'll see how excited they are about the training workshop here. Absolutely. All right.